Thank you, Justin. Another case has come to lawmakers' attention of an elderly couple wrenched apart by a state system that does not allow married people to live in the same foster care yeah, home. In, in this case, a man died soon after being separated from his wife of 56 years. Dick Allgaier reports an investigation is underway. The medical term is transfer trauma. When an elderly patient is transferred to a new facility away from loved ones, they can fall into depression, anxiety, they can even die. At the state capitol today, a caregiver, identified only as Janice Doe, testified via phone, telling of a Big Island man forced to move out of a private pay foster home away from his wife. Within one week, I am told that this man died from a broken heart or in your medical terms, transfer trauma. This case is similar to the case of 86-year-old Terry Kaidi and her husband of 63 years, Stanley. They were forced to move apart because state law did not allow two private payers to stay in the same foster home. The law was designed to make more space available for Medicaid patients. But Terry Kaidi's tearful pleas convinced lawmakers to change the law and allow husband and wives to live together. There was a celebration as Governor Lingle signed the bill into law. So what about this latest case? Well, it turns out there may be exemptions. Even though Senate Bill 190 has passed, there are limitations to that bill. And there must be certain requirements that are met before a married couple will be granted the exception to enter into a community care foster family home. I just don't want this to ever happen again. Um, uh, it's just shocking to me. This case is under investigation. Lawmakers fear that as the population ages, there will be more incidents like this, and they'd like to know how they can be prevented. Reporting from the state capitol, Dick Allgaier, KITV4, Island Television News.